If you like this video, click like. If you want to continue to follow our adventure, hit subscribe. Your support would be greatly appreciated. Hello, Lost on the Road subscribers and followers. There are a lot of folks who have some opinions on how um, how we obtain water. And what we do is we use buckets. There's a lot of folks that think that I should get one of those big 100-gallon uh, tanks and put it in the back of my truck. And that way I can just fill it up and, and I'd have water. Uh, you know, that's, that's 800 pounds. And trying to fill that thing is, is an absolute nightmare considering some of the water sources that we have to use to fill water. We have been known to get water out of natural springs. A natural spring is when they stick a pipe in the side of a mountain, basically, and, and water comes out of the mountain. To fill a tank in the back of the truck, we still had, would have to have used buckets. We'd have to fill the bucket, dump the water in the, in the tank, and do that. That's the only way we could have done it. Because um, there's just no way to hook a hose into this PVC pipe. The other thing is, which and we, we haven't ever done, is if we wanted to take water right out of the stream. Uh, again, to fill a tank, I don't know if I want to do that. I, I wouldn't want to fill a tank with stream water because now you've just contaminated your tank. Whereas with a bucket, I can go fill the water up in the bucket and later clean the, the bucket with bleach if I wanted to. Um, buckets are multi-purpose. We, we can use them for a variety of reasons. Laundry. We can do our laundry in a bucket using a plunger. So you put your laundry in the bucket, you fill it up with water, you can even use hot water, some soap, plunge it, and, and now you have uh, your laundry. Whereas if I had a tank, that's all I could use it for. Now, the way we designed our system we actually just put a bucket of water on top of the fridge, our little apartment sized refrigerator, and then we stick a, our suction hose from our RV pump into the bucket. The pump then sucks the water out of the bucket and distributes it as we need it. Another thing is, is the buckets are easily replaceable. In this video you're looking at right now, that is rust rust from a spigot at the National Forest. Now, they, they say that the water is completely drinkable, and I've seen people drink it, so I know it's drinkable. I don't think anybody's died from the water, but it is very rusty and gets very nasty. Um, so the thing is, is if you were to put this into a tank, you would have a serious problem trying to clean that tank, whereas either I can clean the bucket or I can just throw it away. If it's not cleanable, if it's just so nasty that we don't want to use it anymore. They're cheap. You can go to any store and pick them up three, four, five bucks. Very cheap. Um, so easily replaceable. We can add to our collection of buckets. We remove our collection of buckets. So uh, huge benefit in that. Now think about if we had a 100 gallon tank and it got that rusty or that nasty. Oh my goodness. Trying to clean that would be a nightmare. And then we'd have or and or replace it. Okay, uh, now I just want to throw this out. We have a Berkey, Berkey water filter. I've already mentioned that. It's a two-stage filtration system. Um, uh, you pour dirty water into the top of it. It has filters. That filter gravity drains into a storage tank underneath that uh, cleans the you know that holds the clean water. Well, I can just take a bucket of water, dump it right in there. Now imagine if I had to use a, a, a tank. I would have to figure out how to fill the Berkey from the tank. Another thing that we've done is now that we've been at this a year, we've replaced the uh, the Berkey water filters. So what we did was we took the, the old filters and drilled holes in the bottom of the bucket. You're seeing it right here. We put the, the old filters in those holes and now so our top stage here is is filtering the dirty water and then the, into the bottom stage is the clean water. Now, that clean water isn't drinkable. Uh, it's just cleaner than it was. And what our goal is, is to use these old filters to filter out, you know, 90% of the, of the contaminants and then use the new filters to filter out the rest. And the idea behind this is it's going to preserve the, the new filters 
a lot longer. Uh, and we're already seeing the results of that very well. The, uh, the new filter, the old filters, you know, we'd have to clean those once a week with all this rusty water. These new filters are a month old and we haven't cleaned them once. So the old filters are still filtering out a lot of contaminants. So, uh, but here again, we wouldn't be able to do this if we didn't have buckets. So having a tank and buckets, again, would have been just more space that we would have had taken up. We would still had to have the buckets. So instead of having the tank and the buckets, Let's just have the buckets. Dry storage. This one's really nice. It does get damp in the camper sometimes. When we were in West Virginia, it was damp all the time. We were in the mountains and the clouds would come by and everything would get damp. Uh, we can store our food in there. Um, Carolyn just had some wheat noodles, spaghetti noodles, and they all clumped together because it got wet just from the moisture. If we had to put them in our buckets like we normally do, they would stay dry. You can put clothes in there, you can put blankets, all kinds of things, and, and it, it stays dry. They're stackable is another uh, benefit. When you're ready to move, you just stack them up, put them, lay them down in the back of the truck, and it only takes up, you know, it takes up a good length, but it doesn't take up much width. Very beneficial. Again, if I'd have had that tank in the back of the truck that everybody suggested, a lot of people suggested, uh, I, I wouldn't even be able to use the back of the truck for anything other than that tank. Um, now, the spigot, here's the big the big deal. Uh, and I saved this one to last, even though I talk about filling the, the, these tanks. If I'm right here at the National Forest, there is no way to legally fill that tank. You're not allowed to hook hoses up to these, these spigots. They, they don't even have threads on them. They don't want you to... to fill your tank. I can literally put my thumb over that spigot and shut off the water. There's no pressure to it. So if I were to design something and illegally take water from that, that water will not fill the tank because it, there's just not enough pressure to get the water up that high. So there are a lot of advantages to the system that we've used to live out here in the National Forest, boondocking, and have unlimited water supply. We got it because the buckets make it so flexible. So, anyway, I hope that kind of clears up some of the, uh, the the information on how we use our buckets. So, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Click like if you like the video, and happy travels.